Hello, I'm Liviu Bolan and today I will show you uh, how to add your SSH keys to an SSH agent to avoid typing the passphrase. The passphrase. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I will generate um, the key. Uh, the, I will generate a key with uh, a passphrase, and for this. First, I will create a directory Ubuntu VMPF inside of my .ssh directory. Then, I will generate a key. Uh, I will generate the SSH keys inside this uh, directory. Now, I will have to type the passphrase. Uh, if I type uh, a passphrase with four characters. You will see that you will get a, uh, an error, uh, meaning that you have to type a passphrase with more than four characters. If I run the same command again and type a longer passphrase, the keys are generated. Now I will copy the um, generated key um, on my um, uh, on my virtual machine uh, which is running as you can look here type yes and now type the password on the virtual machine now the key are copied are copied and now if I want to connect to my machine I will have to specify the previous generated key which is inside my Ubuntu VMPS uh, PF uh, directory as you can see here I will have to type the correct passphrase in order to log in now I'm on my Ubuntu virtual machine, but what I want to achieve now is that when I log in to my um, virtual machine, even if I have a passphrase, I don't want to, to enter the passphrase. This is very useful because if you have a bash script, you will, have to, you will want to automate uh, some steps and you will don't want to enter the passphrase when you run the, the script. Okay, so in order to achieve this, I will uh, start SSH agent and place it into the background with the eval command. As you can see here, uh, the agent is running and if you type ps aux pipe grep agent you will see here the ssh agent with the process id 3041 which is the same that were previously shown you now i will have to add private key to the agent so I will specify SSH add and the location of the of the previously generated key which contains a passphrase. Now I will enter the correct passphrase and as you can see here an identity were added. <clears throat> okay. Now, if I connect, uh, if I connect to, if I connect to my virtual machine using the previously generated key with passphrase, you will see that no passphrase is required. 
in order to list public key parameters of all identities currently represented by the agent, you will use SSH add with the L option. And as you can see here, this is the um, private key previously added to the agent. Now, uh, if I go to my uh, SSH directory, you will see that here I'm having a config file that I've uh, temporarily renamed it uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. If I copy the config that uh, the config back to config and edit the config here for the Ubuntu VM uh, host. I will change the location of the key in order to use the previously generated passphrase. Now, if I type SSH Ubuntu VM, you will see that no passphrase is required because the uh, SSH agent is working not only when you specify the location of the key on the command line, but also for the config file for the SSH uh, command. Now, uh, if I run PS AUX that I previously shown you and kill the process for SSH agent, Now, if I want to connect again using uh, the previously generated key with passphrase, you will see that I will have to type the passphrase again. This is because if you want to uh, not enter the passphrase, you will have to start the SSH agent. So this is how you connect uh, using SSH to a server or a virtual machine um, using a key with passphrase without entering the passphrase. You will have to use the SSH agent and SSH add. Uh, if you want to learn more about SSH and about web technologies, you can visit my website liveubalan.com and also check out my tutorials on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.